So we're gonna bake a cake today and uh, I have never done that on my own at least so it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna bake two cakes actually. Why am I baking cakes? I'm gonna give my talk about my master's thesis on Monday and for some reason it is tradition that the guy who finishes his thesis brings cake. Well, for some reason basically because everyone likes cake and everyone uses every opportunity to get some cake. I got most of my stuff here, let me let me uh, give you a tour. We got uh, flour, we got sugar, we got um, like peaches. Normally, I prefer half peaches, but I guess the, uh, those will do. Those are like sliced ones. We got butter, we got whatever this is called, and uh, this is the recipe my mom gave me. And as I said, I've watched her do it before, and I watched my grandma do it before. I've never done it myself, and uh, that's gonna make things very, very interesting. I got the bowl here, and um, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try and assemble this mixer, which is actually belongs to my roommate. So it's not mine. Are they the same? Look the same. That did work. And uh, where do I have a power outlet here? I think the only power outlet I actually have. So the other side of the room, which will make things a little bit tough. <laughs> That's all I can get. Wow, okay, I can barely, this is the max I can go. One wrong move, this thing is gonna fall down. So let's get some eggs going here. This is two eggs. I have six more, I have six more, I have six more. I can't do that because I do like scrambled eggs and stuff usually. So let's have one egg. Okay, ooh, look at this egg. This chicken might have some trouble pressing this one out. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, oh, I hate the ones with such a weak uh, shell. I don't think I got any parts in there. And this is number four. Good start. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like a face. Well, not so much anymore. Kinda. Oh, I need a scale. I need 460 grams sugar. Scale is, of course, behind the cable. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> really? Is that how we're gonna play it? I think the batteries are out. I'm pretty sure when I moved in here with my roommate, he brought one himself and I brought one, so we had two. Thank God I got it to work. Oh my God. I didn't find another scale and these use these little fuckers as batteries. And who is still using these? I mean, those are so last cent last decade, I would say, not last century. Well, pretty much last century too. It was like 90s. And uh, what's next? Sugar. 160 grams. 59. Nailed it. <laughs> we need 200 grams of uh, butter. I didn't take the butter out of the fridge overnight, so it's like rock hard still. Ugh, holy crap! Mm. If that's more than 200 gram batters, then I can't help it. Screw it. Ugh, butter. Oh, come on. Don't you leave me now, Scale. I need you. Please be not more than 200 grams. 179. Okay, I can deal with that. I don't know, as a chemist you try to keep to the recipe as good as possible, but I don't think it really does matter, does it? Oh, nailed it! 200. We need 200 grams of flour. That's a... Should I start mixing it before? Nah, who cares? It's gonna be all mixed eventually anyways. And... Nailed it. I don't know what this stuff is called. Desodium phosphate. Sodium, hydrogen, carbonate. One teaspoon. This is literally the only teaspoon in this apartment. I don't need to scale to measure a teaspoon. One teaspoon of cocaine to give it the right kick. Yeah, that's probably a teaspoon. Go in there. Look at that. It's got a turbo button. It doesn't do anything. Turbo! the new perspective to record from. I mixed it up. It's pretty pretty stiff. 
but I hope it's gonna be all right. Oh man, that's a close call. That's a really close call, actually. I already heated up the oven to about 180 degrees. <laughs> Great success! I don't know if I feel good about this. Butter was still pretty cold, so I had to mix it for quite a while. Maybe that's also why. Oh my god, this is like the worst. Okay, oh my god, this is gonna be a pain. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. And now we gotta need 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Let's put that sucker in there. Okay, have fun. Uh, I'm gonna see you in 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna have to get some milk. That's like, what, 0.25 liters? I need three quarters of a liter. That's the first quarter. And if I remember correctly, my mom showed me a little trick. So I'm gonna take the third quarter in here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna have uh, two packs of vanilla pudding here. I'm gonna put that into here, I'm gonna shake it up. And once this milk is actually cooking, I'm gonna give it the rest uh, to it. I rarely have a cook and if I cook, I don't use like English terms, which is why. And you don't use them in like normal every day to day talk. The English terms for all that stuff. So you don't know that stuff. But shake it up, shake it, shake it, shake it. It feels less smooth on the bottom, which worries me just the tiniest bit. Steam is rising, just waiting for the first few bubbles here. I had to do that before when I was giving a talk about my practical course. Last time I just made like muffins. I just bought a mixture and I mixed in some milk, some oil and some eggs and then I, well, I was done. But I thought this time I should go a little bit more all out and get something real done, quote unquote real. And this is actually one of my favorite cakes that my grandma used to make all the time. Let's see if I can make it just half as good as the one of my grandma. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, oh wow, yeah, oh, oh my god, oh, that was hot. Let's turn that off for a little while. I'm gonna leave it here because I still gotta keep an eye on the milk. Man, okay, now it's multitasking time. I taped basically a little something on the top here to keep the foam and then I think that all the steam is actually loosening the tape a little bit so I'm this phone is probably gonna fall at one point or another. Milk are you ready to receive the pudding? Are you? Just do it! Alright there we go. Um, let's Stir it up a little bit more. I think I'm gonna actually turn off the heat for now because I think it's gonna get hard by itself now. And uh, I gotta put the the cake on the on the table here soon. Oh yeah, it's getting it's getting really thick. It's gotta get a nice consistency, and then I'm gonna add uh, the schmand, which I have no idea what it's called at all. Not even the slightest clue. I even I actually. I don't even know, I think it's called different things in different parts of Germany, so I don't even know if there's like a... Oh man, it's getting really nice consistency now. Oh, well, there goes the phone. Oh man. Alright, stuff should be fixed up. This is getting uh, really hard. So I am gonna add this stuff now here. Mmm. Oh, that was a weird sound. Number one, number two. There we go. Now we gotta stir it nice and everything, mix it up good. Cooking pot, that's it. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna put up the oven again to 180 degrees because we need to bake it again. I should have cleaned that. You know what, it's it's dough, it's dough. It doesn't matter. It's, it's gonna mix up in your stomach anyways, right? So now I'm gonna put that on there. Ooh. Hell yeah. I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, I don't have I don't have ingredients for another try. I need those two cakes.
It actually looks really good. I'm really, really happy with it so far. I don't know, for some reason I'm really constrained in time here. Maybe it is because I'm recording a vlog. I gotta collect the, the juices somehow. Let's collect all these nice juices. Which are not so much, come on. Okay. And this is actually something that not even my mom knew until I told her because I have seen it at my grandma's place. She does that. She uses that juice to put it on top of the cake later. Um, and my mom didn't know that. I taught her what I learned from my grandma and I felt proud of that. Hello. How are you? I'm gonna put these suckers. I don't know how many I'm gonna have, so that's gonna be up. They are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. We're gonna put them on there. Normally, um, I have like half peaches and I put them on there, which makes it uh, kind of look like a sunny side up egg. And that's why, that's what, uh, what it's called actually. The, the cake is called Spiegeleierkuchen and Spiegelei is basically the sunny side up egg and uh, Kuchen is just cake. All right, I think I will call this good enough. Next step is to put it in the oven another 20 minutes and these 20 minutes will give me enough time to figure out the situation here. Oh man, this thing got heavy. Oh my God. Oh my God, this thing got really heavy. Okay, have fun for another 20 minutes in there. I think I fixed my fixture again, but uh, 20 minutes up. Oop. Oh my God, that's not good. <laughs> that still seems pretty wobbly to me. Like wobble, wobble, wobble. But on the corners, it's already like almost dry. Maybe the consistency should get better when it's cooling down too. But overall, it's looking not too bad. So we're gonna let it cool down now. Then we're gonna add uh, the last little bit of topping here, which we're gonna use this, this uh, sugary fruit juice. For things have cooled off. Um, I already, while this was baking, I cleaned everything around here. So we should be able to proceed and it's smelling really good. The smell of vision is coming. And if it comes, I'm gonna make this again and you're gonna smell it. One package for 0.25 liters. So I'm gonna have two, which means half a liter, right? I could do math. I'm gonna use the fruit juice, but I'm also gonna thin it or dilute it a little bit with some water. So let's see um, how much we have here. Oh man, this stuff is really thick. So yeah, it's probably good that we diluted a little bit. Oh man, that's not even 0.2 liters. I'm gonna keep a little bit in here. Once again, just like we did with the pudding, uh, we're gonna add the stuff in there first. And then we gotta go back to shaking and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna heat that up and then we gotta put that stuff in. Look at how wide it is. And then it's gonna um, provide a nice transparent yet solid topping that I think the purpose of it is to keep all the liquid in. Of course, it also adds some more taste, uh, especially with the sugary peach juice. Let's add all that in there. This is not transparent at all, is it? Wow, it's getting thick already. Let's start pouring it in before it all becomes hard and unpourable, oh man. All right, I made a mess, but this is it. This is literally it. The dust has to dry and I'm gonna cut it up in nice pieces and I'm gonna try and find something I can transport and I think my mom gave me some stuff so I can transport it easily. But yeah, this should work. Awesome. I'm, I'm proud of this. I am legitimately proud of this and I hope it tastes good. I have no idea how it tastes yet. Um, we're gonna find out about that once everything cooled down. And I think I'll meet you back then. All right, guys, I think this sucker is ready to be cut up. First things first, we gotta cut, cut off the edges because they look like crap. Let's be honest here. So let's see if we can pull that off. If we just cut it along here. Okay, you know what? Ooh, it's still warm. Let's try the sucker. Not as good 
as the ones from uh, ooh, that stuff is really not not done yet. Look at that. Maybe I gotta let them cool it off a little bit more. This is still very like pudding here. I need all the equipment to get the second one going. I don't have so much time. I think I'm already gonna start working on the second one while I'm waiting for this to completely cool off. Maybe I should put it on the balcony. It has been snowing today for the first time this year. So maybe that might be a good idea. I already put the eggs and the sugar in and I kind of overread something. Apparently I'm supposed to only mix the eggs with the sugar first and then add the flour and the uh, butter. So this is it. This is the carnage, at least the stuff that I didn't eat yet. Um, I did some troubleshooting with my mom actually on the phone and uh, yes, I know why it doesn't taste like it should taste. I forgot to add sugar in the pudding and I forgot like a little bit of um, sweetener in the, in the topping here. So that is why it is not as sweet as it should have been. The good thing is I have figured it out before I started the second one. So I can definitely be better prepared for the second one. So let's see, how do we want to do this? I think I'm going to have to cut it like two pieces or two uh, peaches per piece like that. And another thing is that indeed I think I had uh, the dough too long in the oven. So that's another thing I want to change with the next run. See that? Like the dough is only going to here and then there's only pudding on the side. And ooh, well, this one is definitely not going to go anywhere. And I don't think I'm going to take these two either. I might just keep them for myself. Time for round number two. And that is the last bit of baking paper I have. By the way, today is Sunday, so I can't buy anything anywhere today because all stores are closed. Like every store, there's nowhere I can go to get any more ingredients. So we gotta work with what we have. So let's spread it out. Let's try and get it a little bit more even, maybe in the corners a little bit better too. All right, time for maybe, let's say 12 minutes in the oven this time. And uh, let's see how it does in there. And in we go. See you in a bit. Milk is almost done cooking. Um, already shook up the vanilla pudding. And this time, I don't know if I'm supposed to give it in before or after the pudding, but I think I'm just gonna put it in. One cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I think you are ready to receive some pudding. So, receive. Stop! Don't you dare! Okay, let me get it off the, off the heat uh, real quick. Hey, stop it, I say! Sh shut up! Just shut up! All right, get rid of those. Get this all nice and mixed. Oh, well, that is a mess. But that's how I roll, right? Just do it. Uh, what, did we do it like this? I think we did, right? All the way across the sky. A lot sweeter the second time. All right, this time I tried to group them already together in pairs of two so I have an easier time figuring out where to cut the pieces later. But uh, I think this one is ready to go back into the oven for another 20 minutes. Kick, kick, kick. Get in there. 20 minutes. 
Here we go. At this time, I let the cake cool down for real, like quite a bit. Actually, let's turn it off. I think it's hot enough. I already shook uh, the powder stuff and I'm gonna put it in here now. And it's probably gonna get pretty solid pretty fast once more. So let's make sure, let's add a little bit more sweetener in here too. All right, guys, so as you just saw, everything is cut up. This is the rest, and I haven't tried it yet because I wanted you to be here for that. So this is the corner from the new K, from the second one. It's edible. <laughs> I created something edible. So I think that's gonna be it uh, for me. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I learned something today. Maybe you did too. <laughs> oh, also a good thing might be Earthquake, but Earthquake is also an attack that is a good reserve. Oh, it's on fire, baby, that's awesome. Um, We have more Earthquakes, let's use an Earthquake. Yeah, you can eat my dreams all you want. Get burned, bitch. <laughs>